then who will be Ohio's next governor? We've got a couple of months to prepare, but Democrat Richard Cordray and Republican Mike DeWine are in full on campaign mode. In fact, you're going to see Cordray actually where TJ is this morning at the North Side Parade and new this morning. Nine on your side's Lisa Smith looks at how important the tri-state will be in this governor's race. Cincinnati is getting a lot of attention from the two men who want to be Ohio's next governor. On the same day, Republican Mike DeWine was here touring a Cincinnati child care center, while Democrat Richard Cordray was with former Vice President Joe Biden at a Camp Washington barbershop. Both men trying to play up issues to gain Southwest Ohio votes. Today, a real children's agenda. Uh, it talks about early childhood development. Uh, we're also focusing a lot on foster care. I think we need to think about things like how we can work toward clean renewable energy, how we can work toward fixing our infrastructure in the state, how we can work toward universal pre-K. Cordray told us he expects this race to be tight and tough. He's already run into some issues for making two comments related to Nazis and Republicans. I mean, right now we have a tone being set by the White House, which is absolutely uh, against everything I've understood for America. You know, trying to find people to scapegoat and blame. That's like Nazi Germany. Cordray told us a comment he made earlier this year was repeating someone else. I think it was it was not a helpful comment. I do uh, uh, take it back. Meanwhile, Cordray returns to Cincinnati today. Lisa Smith, nine on your side. In 2010, you might remember Cordray and DeWine faced each other in a statewide race for attorney general. DeWine defeated Cordray that time, who was the incumbent. So we'll see what happens in November.